and I've got this entire Ant Frere solar irrigation system hooked up and it is not a winner and I will explain to you why. I will show you what I'm going to do with this, how to put it together, why I'm doing what I'm doing in just a minute here, but let me show you what you get with this kit here. You get the solar panel itself. This panel is about five and a half inches by five inches. So in the back here, you've got a little cutout here for this mount that they've given you, and you can adjust this with a thumb screw. And when you get it mounted, it's basically just going to slide into place like that and hold it. They've given you this stake so you can stake it in the ground if you want and then uh, adjust it. It's got two holes right here. You can cable tie it to something, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cable tie it probably to a fence. They gave you some cable ties. They gave you some mounting hardware in case you want to mount this into a wall or something. They've given you a filter. They have given you some drip tubes and some little 90 degree T's here, which are going to fit into this 50 foot of tubing they've given you. And in this one, they actually have an anti-siphon device already on here. In the directions they gave you, this anti-siphon device is actually in line. That's incorrect. You're supposed to tee the anti-siphon device off of the out. You put a tee in here, you run a little piece of tube, and you hook up the anti-siphon device. One side allows water and air to go through, one side doesn't. So if you hook this up the wrong way, water should come out of here. Let's try it, actually. That's the wrong way. We're going to hook it up the right way so that water can't flow through it. This is the water sensor. So this is uh, what goes inside your water source right here. These two things, you just drop them in there so it knows if it has water or not, when to shut off. And the way this connects is just right up through here. You're just gonna put that on there, screw it on, and you're good to go. The insection is going into your water source. It's gonna pull, pull the water through here and go out to your plants. Now it has two different modes on here. as a 12 hour mode and a 24 hour mode. On 12 hour mode, every 12 hours, you can run it either two, five or 10 minutes. And on the 24 hour mode, it also has the same two, five or 10 minutes. So I'm going to mount it right here because I know this panel works great and it gets a lot of sunshine right here. So let's do that. Looks like there's about 10 foot of cable on there. I just have it sitting right there on the bottom of the trash can. And that's what lets you know you've run out of water. So I know this is the water coming into the unit from the filter. So I'm just gonna push that onto there, hang this back up for right now and cut the length for the filter. Same thing as with the sensor. This is just gonna sit on the bottom of the unit. We're all the way at the bottom. I've actually seen people put like a little tiny rock on it. To hold it down, you can do that if you want. This is a little tricky to get on. I mean, you kinda of gotta, gotta work on it, but just make sure you don't bust this filter up when you're putting this on. So there we go, down in the water source. From doing this before, I'm gonna run the hose all the way down the backside of these plants to the last spot that I want it to go at. And then from there, I will cut it and run my, drop off my points. And we'll take a look at that. So with these T connectors right here, water goes in, water goes out, and then you drop it off down the middle. So I'm gonna hook the, you know, the end going here, drop my spot off right here, and then continue down the line. Basically, this is how the stake works. You can see I ran my T connector right here, ran it down back through here, plugged into the stake, stuck the stake in the ground. And I've got this entire Ant Frere solar irrigation system hooked up, and it is not a winner. And I will explain to you why. So let me fire it up. Then we'll do an experiment with the replacement one that I got. So I turn this on. You can feel it running. It's pulling water. I've got it run. So this dripper right here, clearly working. Another dripper. Yep, working. Third dripper right in here. And I've run along this fence line. And what I did was made sure that I angled everything so that it ran down and then into level. You can see that this guy's working and I've actually run it up a little bit because in their pictures, you can see everything running up and all over the place. Now I come down to my next one. It is working a little bit, it's trying. And then I get to the one after that and it's not working, not working, not working back there, not working. And I capped it off here and, and I'm, we're talking about 25 feet. So this thing works up to about I want to say 20 feet. So they give me 50 foot of tubing and it works up to about 20 feet. If I dump something wrong, I don't think so because this unit I have over here, which is a different brand, works just fine. And let me show you this, seven and a half gallon container, one run for 20 minutes, probably pulled about, gosh, four and a half gallons there, maybe a gallon or, or so if running for 10 minutes, not good at all. This motor just isn't strong enough. So since they sent me a replacement one, what I'm gonna do is T-connect all these together and see what happens when I run two at once. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have the same exact result. Let's see. All right, so I tried all kinds of stuff. I actually 
teed these together so that I could have two of them pushing water at the same time. I'm still getting water there. It's the same exact thing. I get water up to a certain point, about 20 feet away, and I got it there, but then it stops back here, right here, nothing. I've got the line going down the fence so that everything's got gravity on its side. I even flipped this line up right here, thinking that the water would flow through a little bit easier since it's pushing here, and uh, no good. I've tried everything. I took that guy off and put a different one on, and then I actually took it off and stopped that up so that it just flowed straight through without it, and same results. At the end of the day, the ant fryer system does not have enough power to push this through 50 foot of tubing downhill, in my opinion, and that's with me trying two different units. So there you go.